Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Engine, and today I'm going to show you how to install Vintage Story on your Steam Deck. Now, before we begin, I'd like to mention that the guide I will be following for this tutorial is from the Vintage Story official website. The way to access it is you go to vintagestory.at, you head over to the forums, go to guides, and it should be labeled Vintage Story on Steam Deck, and it's a post created by Mard. This written guide by Mard goes more in depth than what I'll be covering today. It's got a lot of useful stuff, uh, a lot of useful information, and addresses an alternative method to the Flatpak one we'll be using today. It seems as though they are also pretty active on that thread when it comes to addressing any issues you may have. So if you'd like to give it a try yourself, you can always access the guide linked in the description below. This tutorial will fully take place on the Steam Deck's desktop mode. If you don't know how to access desktop mode, all you have to do is press the Steam button on your deck choose power at the bottom, and then select switch to desktop. While in desktop mode, you will use the right trackpad to move your mouse. Use R2 to left click, or primary click, and L2 to right click, or secondary click. Alternatively, if you have a dock, you can connect the mouse and keyboard to use that. If this is your first time in desktop mode, pause the video and take some time to get familiar with the controls. Now that we're all together, let's begin the tutorial. The first step is to click on the Start Menu Steam icon here at the bottom left corner. Click on System and locate the Discover app. This is Steam's software center that's supposed to be a user-friendly interface for installing and managing apps, games, and tools. With the Discover app open, click on the search box and on your Steam Deck, you will want to hit the Steam button and X button at the same time to bring up the on-screen keyboard. Here, you can search for Vintage Story. Tap on the on-screen button labeled Move in the bottom right corner to hide the keyboard. It'll look something like this. From the list on the right, you can now hit the Install, and as Mard mentions, you must be patient. It can sometimes hang on 99% completion for a minute or two. You'll know it's complete when you see the progress bar turns to a Remove button. You can now close out of Discover. Once again, click on the Start menu, and in the Games tab, you will locate vintage story. You'll want to right click or press L2 to bring up the dialog window and press add to Steam and it will do exactly that. Now before actually launching the game, Mard recommends to download a community controller layout. Let's go through that really quick. Locate the vintage story in your Steam library and click on it. Then click on the controller icon somewhere on the right side of the screen. Click on the big button in the middle to enter the layout browser. Navigate to community layouts. You can use the R1 button or use your touchscreen and make sure to enable Show All Layouts here with the X button, or click it. Now, we will locate the Vintage Story Mark 1 layout. Here it is, and it'll be created by Jugglers. You can press A to select it, and then you'll want to hit Apply Layout. Now, something I like to do for Vintage Story specifically, is I like to enable the toggle for the Sneak button, just because it is on the left stick. It's a little hard to hold it, down while also walking. So we go ahead and hit edit layout, go to joysticks, and on the left joystick behavior, on the L3 click, we'll hit the little gear icon, go to settings, and then we'll enable toggle. So that way you only click it once and you'll stay sneaked. I would also like to show you how to install artwork for this game. Myself and many others use steamgriddb.com for our our non-Steam game artworks. From here, you can just type in Vintage Story, and you'll see one for grids, heroes, logos, and icons. And as you can see, it'll give you a bunch of options to choose from. So go ahead and locate some that you like for each category, download them to your Steam Deck, and put them in a folder that you can access. For me, I have mine in my Pictures folder. Now. Once you have your pictures downloaded and you're back in Steam, the first one we'll go ahead and change is the icon. Over here on the left side, right click on Vintage Story, hit Properties, and then right here on this little blank box, we'll just left click. Head to where you have your artwork, and locate the icon. Hit Open, and it won't update immediately, but once you go back into game mode, it should update correctly. 
Next, we'll do the artwork here. Simply right click, set custom background, and again, locate where you have your artwork and set it. This one will be the hero artwork. One more time, set custom logo. And this one will be the title or logo. Okay, once you've selected the artwork that you liked, the game is now ready to launch. I'll see you inside, so that way we can configure some more settings. Once you've logged in with your Vintage Story account, you want to head over to Settings, hit Show All Available Settings, so that way you can get a whole bunch more. Mard recommends the Medium preset with full screen and VSync mode enabled. Now, be careful messing with these settings um, because it has been reported that the wrong combination of options may cause the game to get stuck during loading and you'll need to reset the settings game file manually, which Mard um, discusses in the forms. And so once that's done, you should be able to just create a world and have fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Engine and the Vintage Story Steam Deck tutorial. Have a great day. Bye-bye.